All right, guys, through the course of doing these cultural exchange videos between Scotland and America, I've been really fortunate enough to receive a lot of packages from you guys from the States. And I just want to take this opportunity right now to say thank you so much for all you guys who have considered doing that. It's been really, really fun opening the boxes from different places around America and learning about the different things from your place, from your cities and your states, right? Today, I received a box from South Carolina. The Carolinas are interesting because of I learned this in Outlander, right? I didn't know this before, but I learned in Outlander. The Carolinas were very interesting um, because Scottish people back in the days, two or three hundred years ago, four hundred years ago, it was one of the kind of main colonies, one of the first places that people from Scotland in particular set up camp, right? North Carolina in particular, but also South Carolina. Outlander is a tremendous show. It kind of teaches you all these things about Scottish people and where they immigrated to in North America. Really, really love it, right? So the Carolinas for me are interesting for that fact alone. There's a lot of Scottish people in those states, South and North Carolina. Right now, I just want to open this box that I received all the way from South Carolina. This is from Dr. Joey Steele from Aitken in South Carolina. So let's get this opened right into it. No holding about today pure content, right? And I want to say as well, thank you so much everybody for joining in this video and all the videos that I do. It's great to have you here. And if you're new, please don't forget to hit the red subscribe button down below and then you will be part of this family, part of this connection between Scotland and the Americas, all right? Let's get stuck in. Another unboxing video right here on my channel. Well, I've done quite a few of these now because I've had so many boxes arrive from different places, um, which has been amazing, really, really cool. Everywhere from Boston to Tennessee, Got this t-shirt on all the way from Tennessee. By the way, this t-shirt is on the wrong way around. This is actually the back, but there's nothing on the front and I wanted to show off the Tennessee, so. But here's one thing, I don't actually know much at all about South Carolina. Actually, almost nothing. I know a lot more about North Carolina because Outlander, the show, as I've been talking about, spent a lot of time there. So basically, all of the last season of Outlander, season four, was in North Carolina, right? All about the Scottish Highlanders who emigrated um, and learned a lot through that, right? So let me just do a quick Wikipedia. Considered the easternmost deep south state, bordered to the north by North Carolina, obviously, the Atlantic Ocean and Georgia across the Savannah River. Nice flag, I like that, the tree with the half moon, the flag of South Carolina, and then the seal as well. State beverages, milk apparently, you must have a lot of cows in South Carolina. And then the dance, the local dance, interestingly, is the Carolina Shag. Hmm, interesting. If you've been watching a lot of these cultural exchange videos I've been doing on my channel, you will know the word shag right here in Scotland and in all of the UK is a rude word. Whereas obviously for you guys, it's just a dance. I need to look at what is a Carolina Shag dance. Let me have a wee look. <laughs> Okay, do your thing. Biggest cities in South Carolina, metropolitan areas of Greenville, Columbia, Charleston, three or four big places there. I know basically nothing about South Carolina and that's why I think these cultural exchange videos are so good and so useful because I get to learn stuff through the boxes you guys send. So without further ado, let me just get into this. So these boxes are often well packaged and well sealed like they should be because they're coming all the way from the States. And by the way, guys, if you're interested, and don't feel obliged because postage from the States over the Atlantic to the UK to Scotland is very expensive. But if you would like to send anything, if you feel so inclined, it's obviously very appreciated and you can find my address for postage down below in the comments. Let's just have a wee look what's in here. I'm excited, I get so excited opening boxes, especially when they're mystery boxes and I don't know what's inside. So lots of paper packaging. Actually, that is interesting because these are newspapers, local newspapers. I could actually read these and perhaps gain a bit of an insight into local life. I might have a read of some of those newspapers later on. All right, okay, got some boxes here. First box is a Charleston tea plantation, grown in a plantation in America, and it says here, on a post-it. These teas are from Charleston, South Carolina. The Charleston tea plantation is the only tea plantation in the USA. Interesting, I'll be very much looking forward to, to having some of that, big tea fan. It's Earl Grey as well, which is always good. A British style tea, which I enjoy. Excellent stuff, thank you so much for sending that. Now this 
and I'm gonna enjoy, right? Louisiana style red bean gumbo mix. Now, I don't know what gumbo is, right? But what I will tell you is because of the time I spent in Brazil, and one of their staple diets in Brazil is beans, okay? I love beans. I love beans a lot. Here in the UK, we don't know what beans are. We eat beans all wrong, right? Red beans, I'm gonna enjoy that with some kind of uh, maybe meat and herb and rice there. I think Louisiana style red bean gumbo mix, a traditional southern thick and hearty soup rice dish. This is fascinating. I might make a video of me trying to attempt to make this, but um, thank you so much for that. Very, very interesting and cool. I just love it as well because people are sending all this local produce, which is amazing. Another box from the Charleston tea plantation. This one is breakfast tea. Excited to try that. It actually says here there's a post-it note to go with the beans and it says red bean gumbo is famous in New Orleans and elsewhere in Louisiana. So perhaps not something from South Carolina. Louisiana it seems to be. Here we have another soup mix. We're quite healthy in this box. This is jambalaya. Jambalaya soup is famous cuisine in New Orleans, Louisiana. So another piece from Louisiana. Where does jambalaya ring a bell from? I'll tell you where jambalaya rings a bell from. The one and only reason I know what jambalaya is, is from, can you guess? Famous Scottish export, kind of. <laughs> Mrs. Doubtfire. So there we go, very, very interested in eating this. It looks like something I'm gonna enjoy. It's with prawns, right? And then we have a bunch of papers, newspapers, magazines, and documents, which is great, so it'll let me to read up on South Carolina comings and goings. For example, this is a typical Aitken Standard from the city of Aitken, South Carolina. This is a typical Sunday newspaper, the Aitken Standard. So I will be getting into that and reading what the people of South Carolina have to say about things. Very much excited to read through that. This is from Sunday the 2nd of June 2019. So yeah, I'll have a look at that. I'm very excited. Thanks a lot for sending this. I'm fascinated with newspapers. As someone who used to be a journalist, Newspapers are something that I'm always fascinated by. Another local publication, be excited to read into that. Also a commerce report, which is fascinating because like, what is local business in South Carolina? I have no idea. What is the business in Aiken? Let me read up and I will be finding out. So this is great information. Like I said, thank you very much to Joey Steele for sending this stuff. A very cool letter, which I will be getting through as well. I'm not gonna read that on the video, but I will certainly read that off camera. And it looks like it's got a lot of information about the local area, which I had very quickly skimmed through in Wikipedia. There's obviously a lot more details here on this letter that I've been sent. So this is amazing. And guys, listen, I keep everything, all the letters and stuff that I've been sent, I'm keeping it very safe um, because I just think this is amazing, fascinating. Love to return the favor one day to you guys if I can, but I certainly think that one step of that is gonna be me actually coming to the States again and doing a proper tour and really exploring places that I've never been to before, like the Carolinas, so excited about that, different culture. Places throughout mid-America, uh, the deep south, lots of places I've never been to in America and I think it's just gonna be a lot of fun getting to know different places and meet different people. So Dr. Joy Steele, thank you so much for sending this. I really appreciate it. Like I said, there's a link down below if you wanna send anything else. I must admit people, right, when I read the letters and stuff that you guys send me, letters and items, um, particularly the letters, I kind of get a little bit emotional, right? I've never had this deep a connection before with people from like so far away that I've never met before. It is absolutely incredible. I definitely feel the love and you know what? Where do I take this? I don't know. I'm gonna do more videos of actually cooking this stuff eventually as well and eating it and using it. That will be another video. Um, but today I just want to talk about receiving these boxes. I've got another one on the desk here, which I actually opened in another video before, which was from Seattle. Um, and I opened a bunch of stuff from there. I've had packages from Boston, from basically all around the States. Um, and I just think this is it's so good and so interesting that I want to pay it forward somehow. Um, but listen, I've been talking to you about coming to the States for a long time now to do a kind of series of documentaries, vlogumentaries about um, finding Scotland in America. And I still really want to do that. There's a couple of things I need to tie up here in Scotland first, but a lot of you guys recommended to me that crowdfunding is one good way to do it. And you know, I've been thinking that forward. It's not something I would have ever considered before, but like a lot of you guys were adamant that that is a way that you guys would help support me do like a kind of full vlog series. So let's make it happen somehow. I just feel the connection between myself and North America because of all the love that you guys have sent. United States, Canada as well. I received a lot of stuff from Canada. So I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone who has been so kind to spend their money and time 
putting together packages and sending it to me. It makes me feel very appreciated and you know what? It's amazing. This community is amazing. You guys are amazing. Oh boy. What I also got to say, but thanks a lot. And I'm going to be eating and drinking a lot of cool stuff from America over the next few weeks because I've got a lot of it now. Joy Steele from Aitken in South Carolina. Thank you so much for this package. I highly appreciate it. This vlog is a bit shorter than I would usually make them. Um, I've not been feeling that good the last couple of days. I know that sounds like a poor excuse, but uh, I've not. And I've, I've really just lacked energy. I feel like energy has been sapped out of me. I've been feeling exhausted and tired. I've recovered from a flu about a week and a bit ago. I don't think it's that. I don't know what it is to be honest. I've just been feeling not myself, but that will pick up. I'm not gonna dwell on that. That is nonsense, unnecessary. Let's look forward. Let's think about coming to America again. I'm very excited about that. I also wanna say that the guys from the United States Embassy to the UK, I've been talking about this a lot on my channel over the last couple of years since I went on that trip, that first amazing trip to the United States with the embassy on a sponsored Exploring American Values tour. I've learned a lot about America since then and I was very, very green to the country. I was very new and probably a bit naive when I first went there with the embassy, but it was such an amazing, amazing trip. The guys have just been touring America and they've just come back. Every year they're basically doing this trip with a bunch of people and it was life-changing for me. I know it was life-changing for a lot of other people on the trip that I went with. And I know the US embassy is continuing to change the lives of a lot of people from the UK in terms of their knowledge of America and their connectivity with America. And this, all this, and all these videos I've been doing would not have been possible without the US Embassy. So think about that for a second. The United States Embassy in London does an incredible job. I feel very, very proud and passionate about um, the work that I did with them and will continue to do it in the future, no doubt. Excellent bunch of people. Anyway, guys, listen, that is it for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. And until the next episode, I hope you have a good night, morning, evening, afternoon, or whatever time of day it is wherever you are in the world. Take care.